Welcome, welcome guys. We're gonna get started right away with our light hand weights. I'm using twos. Grab whichever ones feel most appropriate for you. Draw your heels directly underneath your pelvis. Toes point forward. Let's close our eyes. As we in breath, pull the shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, soften them down. Ah, you can have a sigh as you exhale. Big in breath, shoulders roll up towards your ears. Exhale, drop them. Ah. One more time, big in breath, shoulders up. Exhale. Ah. Now let the shoulders settle down. The sides of the neck feel long as you in breath. Float the chin up, open your throat as you exhale. Chin drops towards the center of your chest. Take one more here. Big in breath, we'll begin to articulate the spine. Full exhale. Now take an in breath, make sure your knees are bent. Draw your hands towards the front of your thighs. As you exhale, begin to engage the abdominals as you round your upper back, your middle butt back, and your lower back in flexion, round back. When you arrive at the bottom in a forward fold, you take an in breath, you extend the legs. You exhale, you bend the knees, you scoop the abdominals to support your spine stacking bone by bone. As you come up, let's take one more big in breath, chin lifts. Exhale, chin drops, back rounds, articulating bone by bone. It's okay if your spine feels a little sticky, mine does especially down there at the lower part. When you arrive at the bottom, you float the pelvis up, you pet your cat, and then you exhale. You roll up bone by bone. Beautiful, guys. On this next one, we're only gonna roll down halfway. We're gonna take our in-breath. We're gonna exhale, roll down, begin scooping the abdominals, come down towards your knees. And now from here, your thumbs are gonna face the sky. You're gonna reach the arms alongside your ears. Now we hold here, we take an in-breath. As we exhale, we're gonna sweep our left arm behind us, rotating the spine, look back, and then float it back up, in-breath, other side. Exhale. In-breath, feeling that rotation through the spine as we exhale. One more time here. Sweep it back, exhale. Beautiful, yes. In breath. Now from here, we straighten the legs. We pull the elbows wide. We knock our knuckles together. Release our arms down. Let's do it again. Big in breath, float the chin. Exhale, round down. Toward your knees. In breath, find your squat. Reach the sits bones away from the crown of the head. Exhale, one arm back. In breath, try to twist through the waistline here. Exhale, feeling that rotation, that stretch. In breath, exhale, knuckles wide, or elbows wide, knuckles together. Take your arms back down. Let's do it one more time. That just feels too good. In breath, exhale, roll down, bone by bone, midpoint. From here, in breath, reach the arms. Exhale, rotate one arm back. In breath, thumbs face the sky. Exhale, other side. That's it. In breath. From here, pull the knuckles together and lift the hips. Okay, guys, I want you to knock those knuckles together. Your feet are still hips with distance. We're going to begin to lift the knees one at a time. Here we go. Exhale. I want you beginning to engage through the abdominals, really pressing those knuckles together. Yes, that's it. Beautiful, guys. We're gonna stay here for five more. Four more, try to lengthen through the back of the knee. So we're not marching. We're lengthening through the back of the knee and feeling our abdominals press. In three more, we're gonna release into the last one. Beautiful, guys. Now our hips are nice and warm. We're gonna drop our heels together into our first position. Arms come back to our side. I want you to lengthen the spine here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Now, as we exhale, we're gonna find that same scooping action as we round upper back, lower back. Down to about the midpoint here. Take an in breath. And as you exhale, squeeze the inner thighs, press your heels together, roll up bone by bone. Feeling the inner thighs really start to connect. In breath, arms float up. Take it down. 
drop the chin, round down, squeeze the inner thighs. Your legs are straight here. This is the only time I want your legs to be straight. Round down, belly scoops. As you reach, you lift back up, bone by bone. Your butt's even gonna work here as you squeeze those heels, lift up. That's it, beautiful guys. We are in it. We're gonna add a little more spice here. Take one more. Okay, here's our chance to add a little spice. You can stay here or come into a short releve. It's really gonna turn on the inner thighs and your tush. Your heels are lifted. We're gonna take our in breath. As we exhale, we're gonna round down. Make sure you're scooping the abdominals as you round, upper back, middle back, lower back. Press those heels, squeeze, lift back up, legs stay straight. Press the arms up to test your balance. That's for you, Bettina. Drop it down. Lower. Scoop. Round. Feel the abdominals press. Squeeze the heels together. Feel your butt turn on. Yes. Guys, if you notice my skin looks really shiny, it's because I have sunscreen on. I didn't like oil up before I recorded this class. I was just outside. Squeeze the heels. Lift up. Exhale. Okay, can we do one more? Heels up or down, listen to your body. Take it down, nice and slow. Beautiful, exhale, scoop. Pull the abdominals in, squeeze those inner thighs, press those heels, and lift up. Lower those heels from here, going back to those leg lifts with a slight external rotation. So you lift, you're lifting the inner thigh up. Lift, lift, point through those toes. Now guys, we're gonna to start to add a little pull with our elbows. You can also stay here. If you'd like, we add that pull. We add that pull. It doesn't matter if you mess up here, guys. I feel like this is a lot of coordination. I would just be holding here. That's it. Five more. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one, beautiful. Drop those arms down. Allow the feet to point directly forward. Now guys, I want you to squeeze your legs together. From here, we're gonna send our arms up into that wide elbowed position. We're gonna reach down, squatting our hips back, reaching over towards our left side, feeling that rotation in the spine, and then we're gonna stand. So this is like a little mini squat. It's more quad dominant, move to the other side, and then press the lift. That's it, in breath. Exhale. A lot of rotation in this class, a lot of lower body work, but it's like a little softer, but we're still breathless, we're still working. So this is one of those classes I would do if I just needed kind of like a moment to connect with my body. Lift. Now we're gonna add releve in the center. I don't want you to worry about the beat, I just want you feeling this in your body. Find your natural tempo. Like where you're getting a little breathless, but it's not too overwhelming. We're gonna add a releve in the center of lifting those heels for you, Bettina, finding a little balance. If you choose, lift those heels. Lower the heels, drop. Lift the heels, drop. Lift the heels. That's it, going side to side here, finding that bit of rotation. The heel lift is a challenge. Last two, we're gonna hold that twist. Last one. Now guys, I want you to hold the twist over to your left side. Now from here, we're gonna reach our left arm up, opening through the back of the shoulder, and then we drop it down. Let's do four more. Scoop the abdominals, lift, and lower two more. Lift, and lower one more. Lift, and lower. Press it back up. Other side here, reach it down. Lift the right arm up, lift and lower. Elbows slightly bent here. Yes. Two more. One more here. Now guys, from here, reach those arms wide. We're going to connect through our thighs. Squeeze to lift. Out to the T. Palm space. Take it. Over. Exhale. In breath. Other side. Exhale. In breath. Other side. few more. Elbows stay nice and soft. You're in your muscles, not your joints. So squeeze those biceps. Yes, I see you. We're going to stand it up. Four more. 
last three. We'll stand it up in two. Last one here, guys. Now I want you to hold it up here. Soften the shoulders away from your ears. You're gonna flip your palms up to face the sky. Elbows will bend. If this feels like unfriendly, draw your elbows in closer. Now you're gonna rotate back to face the front of the room. Now you're gonna flip the palms to face the floor. We're gonna flip the palms to face the front of the room. And we're gonna flip up. Now take out that center. We flip down, we flip up, we flip down, we flip up, we flip down, we flip up. You have five. We're gonna hold it down in four. Let's hold it down, guys. I'm sweating. In three, we hold it down. Last two, last one. Now hold those arms down. Step your feet wide. I want your toes pointed directly forward. Stay in this T. Keep those arms on. I know it burns. We're going to twist and rotate our left hand towards our right ankle. Reach that left arm up. We're going to in breath. You're going to feel your hamstrings here. We twist and rotate other side. We lift up. We twist. And we lift in breath. Guys, we're in that stretchy strong, that stretchy strong mode. You guys, I am such a fan of mobility exercises that also strengthen our muscles. And this is one of them. It's a little Jay Fonda. I get that. It's like, are we in jazzercise? Maybe we are, but it feels so good because you get that little sensation of stretch and then you lift. Your shoulders are burning. You're working through your core. You're working your inner thighs. You're working your back, the spinal extensors. Everything is on, but it doesn't feel so bad. It's like a little cozy. Stay with it here. You have four. You have three. We're almost through. In two. Last one here, guys. Beautiful. Now, hold it out to the side. You're going to rotate those palms back to the front, and you're going to heel toe your heels in so your toes are wide. From here, we're going to pull our elbows in. Feel your latissimus fire up as we lower our hips into our wide second. And then you're going to straighten those legs, reach the arms wide, palms face down. Rotate the palms, squeeze, settle. Feel that stretch in your inner thighs. And then you push back out, palms face. That's it. Can we speed that up just a hair? It's in and it's out. That's it. And ooh, this feels a little awful, but in a good way. It's like, oh, we're in there. We're feeling our pelvic floor. Our inner thighs are working, connecting to our pelvic floor. Stay with it. Oh, guys, my shoulders are dying. Are your shoulders dying? Isn't it amazing? Use two pound weights and I feel like they're 30 pounds. Okay, stay with it here. You have four more. Squeeze those elbows in. Do not sleep on that latissimus engagement. Big beating muscle in your back. Last two. Last one here, guys. Now we hold it down. We're almost through. We're going to reach our elbows up towards our shoulders. And then pull them down. Squeeze. Now add one heel lifting as you lift. And you lower. Your hips stay static. Other side. Releve. Releves are optional. Just lifting one heel, but staying in that deep plie. Try not to lift those hips. That's your challenge. Stay in it. Woo! Stay in it. We're gonna just go here for a little longer. Try to relax your jaw. Tell yourself, good job. And you can be higher. You can ditch those weights, guys. Listen to your body. Oh, I'm sweating. Today's one of those like 97 degree days in Philadelphia. So I never record during the day. But it's too hot to do anything else. So I'm like, I'm gonna get my class done. Five more here. Four more here. We hold it up, we pulse. In three, I know it burns. You're in there. In two. The last one. Now hold your left heel up. From here, it's a little pulse down, a little pulse. Think, sink and hold. Hug those muscles to the bone. Press those thighs wide. Scoop the abdominals. Feel everything get really strong here. You have five, you have four, three, two, one. Drop those elbows, drop that heel. Other side, pop it up. Let's pulse. Yes, guys, hug those muscles. Soften through the jaw, soften through your neck. I know your shoulders are working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Pull those elbows down. Okay, guys, our last pulse. Your choice. Heels stay down 
are both heels lift, both elbows lift. This is it for eight, for seven. I don't even pulse it down here. I'm just hugging my muscles. I'm squeezing them. Four, three is okay if you shake. Two, and one. Drop those heels, drop those elbows. Wiggle your butt. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's stretch out through the arms. When you're ready, sweep those arms up, interlace the fingers, press the palms up, lift through your chest, and now just drop your head, keep your arms where they are. Oh, big in breath. Full exhale. Now when you're ready, dropping those arms back behind you, keeping your chin down, reach and open through the chest. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. Maybe you lift up. Oh. You guys take your time release roll the shoulders up back and down wiggle your arms let's go to our bar okay so we're not here long i want you guys to find a first position think heels together toes apart your heels are glued our inner thighs are connected here and we're about four arms distance away from the bar we're going to bend through our knees and find find the plie bend and then you're going to send your chest forward just like we did when we were standing, or sorry, just like we did when we were finding that squat when we were doing our initial warm up. Okay, so from here, I want you to feel the abdominals press. You're gonna lift your left heel into releve, shifting that weight into your right thigh and right glute, and then you're gonna lower down. So this seems like a very sort of simple exercise, but it is not simple. There is so much happening in your body. You're feeling connected to your core. The spinal extensors are working. Your glute is working to stabilize. You're feeling your right quad just burn. It's already burning and it's such a simple move. You have four more, three more. We're gonna step back to a curtsy. In two, last one here. Now guys, from here, you hold that heel up. You're gonna slide your left foot back behind your right. You're gonna kick your waist out of the way and you're gonna find a hinge curtsy. So that left knee searches for the floor. You can kind of pull off your furniture, your bar here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna step back together. Heels connect. You pop that heel up, you reach it back. You stay slow, you sink your weight into that right glute. You can lift your toes, right toes can lift, and then you step back forward. That's it, keep the belly strong. If you find that you're feeling uncomfortable in your low back, I want you to have more glute in, or more core engagement. Or you stand up, you take a break, you say, ooh, 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 and then you come back down when you feel refreshed. And you get back in. We're gonna take one more here. Lift the heel. Try not to move that right side. That's your challenge. It's so precise. It's so strong. Okay, on this next one, we hold that curtsy. We lift the heel, we pop it back, hold your curtsy. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Can you find a bit more softness in your shoulders? That's it. You have three more. I know that right butt is burning. Think reach away from your bar. Two more. Yes, I see you, so strong. Last one here. Now we hold it down. We find that pulse, it's a little pulse down. For eight, for seven, for six. For five, for four, three, two, and one. From here, you launch your left knee up and out to your passe lift. You lift the knee out to the side. That right knee stays slightly bent, but you feel this spine lengthen. And you point through that left toe. From here, you slide it all the way back into that hinge curtsy. You press it all the way up. Now maybe you add your left arm reaching. Investigate. That's it's a spider. It's a, it's a 
the biggest fiber I've ever seen. Guys, I don't live in Australia. I live in Philadelphia. I've never, I took pictures. Guys, it was big. And it was definitely pregnant too. It was like that big. Whew. Do you have three more? Guys, is your butt on fire? Mine is two more. Last one here. I see you, Erica. Press it up. Okay, we hold it up here. Two more. For three. Crop chest two, one. Drop those heels together. Pop your heels short, little relevant. We're gonna slide our back down the wall. Find our diamond plie. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze those heels to lift. Four, make it slow. Three, two, and one. Feeling your butt, feeling the inner thighs, feeling the core quads. Two, and one. Squeeze the lift. Go four. Carly Pat up the back. Three, two, one. Sink it down. Here we go. Happy little world for me. First three, first two, for one, two more slow, four, three, heel stay static, two and one, four. You go to an appropriate height for you guys. I'm feeling like, oh, I kind of want to go a little lower today. So I'm going a little lower, not lower than my knees though. Squeeze, three, two, one. We're going to hold it down at that lowest point, so find it. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. does this. This is what, how it responds. And I have to like pretend it's not happening. No, I acknowledge that it's happening. It's like, okay, legs, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. You have four. We pulse in three. We pulse in two. So strong here, guys. I'm just taking a quick break because that was awful. Last one. We pulse here. First knee, first second. So we go heel. Hug those muscles to the bone. First six, first five. Two and one. Straighten those legs, lower the heels. Oh, let's move to the other side. Bend through your knees. Send your chest forward. Stay in those quads. Stay in that left glute. Can't stay light. Pop that right heel up and down. Pop it up and down. Just feel those muscles engage. Feel that weight shift. Your glute, you reach back. You're like, oh, okay, strong butt. Oh, yeah, tell yourself, strong butt. We got some. Sweat going, I promise guys, <laughs> it probably looks like I oil. That's so weird. <laughs> I would never do that, guys. I don't even, usually I wear my pajamas when I teach and I don't put on deodorant because it's too expensive. Why is deodorant $12? Hold it up here, hold that relevant. Step it back to your curtsy, that moves on the side. That's shift into your left heel as you step it back to your curtsy and then you bring it back forward. Nothing moves but that right leg. Yes, that's it. Breathe deeply here. Left quad is burning. I know it's fatigued. We've already worked. We've already worked it. Last time here. Press it back. Woo. Lift it forward. Now guys, I want you to hold it back. We move. Up and inches in there, in there. Keep light on that back foot. Don't you need more support? In which case, you say bye. Bye, weird lady. I'm putting my full weight on that back foot. I don't want any weight here. That is awful. One more. That's it. Now sink it down. Little pulses here. Little drop. Little drop. You have five. You have four. You have three. You have two. You have one. Launch that right knee up to your passe rib. Chest is proud. Right toe points. Knee opens. Belly scoops. Lift. Lift when you're ready. Left knee bend. Slide it back. Pull off the bar. And then press it up. Passe lift. Slide it back. Press it up. Slide it back. Press it up. Slide it back. Press it up. Now you can start to add that right arm reaching down. You in breath lift. Reach it down. In breath lift. Stay slow. Get in there. Slow is my base. That's it. Four more. Three more. Two more. 
One more here, guys. All the way through, take it back down. And now lift it up, we hold for four. Hold for three, hold for two, and one. Drop that heel, pop those heels up, short little releve. It's down for eight, down for seven, down for six, five, go four, three, two, one. Squeeze those heels, eight, make it even. It's slow at the bottom, five, four, three, two, it's eight, seven, slow burn. Four, three, two, one. It's eight. It's even. Six. Go five. Ooh, four, three, two, and one. Feel every inch. One more. Eight, seven. This is awful. Oh, whose idea was this? Three, two, and one. Lift. It's eight. It's seven. It's six, I know you're in your failure, five. It's four, three, two, one, take it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We hold, it's down an inch, it's up an inch. You can do it, spine is upright. Squeeze those heels, keep that inch precise. It's small, down an inch, up an inch. It's okay to shake, three more. We hold in two, we hold in one, hold. Little pulses up for eight, for seven. We're gonna feel more fire in the top of the quad. Pulse up for six, up for five, four, three, two, one, dead. Release, push those hips back. Find your beautiful spinal stretch here. Your L stretch, feeling so good. Sending that tailbone up, feeling that stretch through the hammies. Whew. Okay, guys. Drop your right foot forward, left foot comes up. We have just a little quick bit of core and then you're done with class. What a beautiful class. Can we just talk about it? How beautiful is that class? We're in it, we're sweaty. We look like we have oil on, but we moved really thoughtfully and slow. We built that tension, we stretched. Oh, beautiful. Okay guys, cross that left ankle over. Find your figure four stretch. Give your hip a beautiful big breath. Oh, take it to the other side. We're living our best lives today. Spine moving in all directions. Dogs are napping. I did take Carly and Bunny for a walk this morning. Um, and Carly did not like it. We went really early. It was still probably too hot. Okay guys, if you have any low back issues, I want you to take a ball underneath your low spine. Okay. Otherwise, if you feel healthy here, we're gonna grab behind our thighs. We're gonna use our arm muscles to lift and support our spine as we come into a beautiful upright position. I want you to find the front edges of your sit bones. Now, you're gonna feel your belly press in like just below your navel. Press it in as you exhale, close your eyes and start to feel your belly button move towards, your pubic bone move towards your belly button. I want you to initiate that action with your abdominals. Don't just flex your hips under. Use your abdominals to initiate and then use your arms to pull back up in breath. So we're just feeling the pelvis extend and then your belly engages. The pelvis flexes, draws under, and then you lift. Use your arms, use your biceps. Pull back up, exhale. Head your calf if he comes by. Lift back up. Use your arms one more time. In breath. Exhale. Scoop. Initiate at the abdominals. And then in breath, lift. Now we're going to roll down to an appropriate height for you, bone by bone, getting our sacrum down, finding our C curve, C shape in our spine. If that doesn't feel good, just roll back into your ball. Find your C shape when your spine is the ball supporting. Lift up. In breath. Exhale. Scoop the belly. Roll. Pubic bone towards your belly button. Now start to slide your hands away from your thighs. You can hold your cat to the side. You're gonna drape your hands down the thighs as you roll down, bone by bone, to a high chest curl. You're gonna lift in breath. You're gonna exhale, don't use momentum if you can. Press that belly down, peel the spine, bone by bone. Oh, that's awful. Then grab 
support your back, connect the arms to the back side of the body. I'm gonna do it again, we exhale, initiate, roll down, low by bone, slow is best. Think about those in counts, trying to imprint each vertebrae. Get your sacrum down, in breath, exhale, peel, bone by bone, up off the floor. One more time, use your arms, in breath, exhale, roll down, bone by bone. Slow, slow, in breath, exhale. Okay, guys, we're gonna take it down. Same thing, scoop, round. Reminder, guys, you can have the ball behind your low back, but we're gonna come down about halfway, and then you're gonna plant your elbows. You're gonna kickstand your elbows, and you're gonna bring your feet in just a couple inches. Okay, from here, here's our challenge. We're gonna in breath, float the left elbow up. We're gonna exhale, take it to the other side, in breath. Exhale, nothing moves. Try not to rock side to side. That's your challenge. In breath, exhale, try not to wobble your knees. One more time each side, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last time, in breath. Exhale, now when you're ready, reach your arms back forward. Peel, bone by bone, you can use your hands. That was awful. Let's put it all together. Use your arms. Scoop, round down, slide your hands. Halfway down, elbows drop. In breath, lift. Exhale, lower. In breath, lift. Exhale, lower. In breath. Keep your hands down or reach. Exhale. Woo. Let's do one more. Take a break after that. That is awful. Okay, here we go. You guys are strong. You're ready. You're like, come on. Come on, Cal. I'm struggle bus here. Reach it back. In breath, one arm. Exhale. In breath. See how my belly's doming? I'm tired. I should have stopped already. Woo! Now take those knees wide. Send your chest forward. We have one more strap, one more exercise, and then you're done, skis. Give yourself a lovely little low back stretch here, rocking side to side. Ready. This time, you're going to reach your legs long. We're going to find that same C shape. Round. Point to the toes. Reach. Now, you can take that opposite variation that we just took, that um, prior iteration with your knees bent, or we start to roll the hips under. Scoop the abdominals. Roll the hips under. Get your sacrum down. You roll all the way down. My dog's in my way. Carbon's in the way. Pit bone by bone. When you arrive at the bottom, you in breath, but you don't let your ribs pop. Keep them anchored. You scoop back up, exhale, press, squeeze the inner thighs, lift back up. As you in breath, you float the spine up, this time working through the back. So lift your chest, press those thumbs back. We exhale, we scoop, we round, we roll. We go down, think A counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In breath, let's count really fast. Exhale, shh. Oh, that is unpleasant. That is an unpleasant sensation, but I kind of like it. Press. It's like one of those things that's like, wait, I want to be able to sit up. Why can't I sit up with my legs straight? Roll down. It's like one of those life things. In breath. Exhale. Shh. Guys, the life things I found are the most important. That's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to stay mobile. I don't care how I look. I just don't. But I want to be able to live my life and do the things that I like to do. Roll down. The way we look is like, at least the way I think about it, it's like the least interesting thing about us. And I don't know why, for some reason, it's as women, it's like the most important thing. Just up there. Roll it down. Roll it down. Okay, guys. In breath. Try not to pop those ribs. Exhale. Drop those knees side to side. Rotate through your chest or through your hips. I can't do this. I'm going to do it seated because my dog's in the way. My dog, my best dog, my Carly dog. Guys, Bodhi has to get eye surgery tomorrow. <sighs> Feeling nervous about it, but they say it's not a big deal. I feel like Bodhi's 12 and he's a big boy. He's a 12 year old big boy. He's still got a lot of life left. Maybe hold, maybe hold 
hold your twist and then take it to the other side. Hold your twist, other side. Guys, <sighs> I feel great. I feel like calmed, but also like strong. Now take a happy baby. Grab your outer edges of your thighs, your feet. I hope you guys had a lovely class. I hope you're feeling great. When you're ready, roll it on up. Let's take one final breath together. Tell yourself, good job. You just did that class by yourself, or maybe you had a friend, but probably by yourself. Go you. Give yourself some credit. I hope you have a beautiful